When you run a secondary thread, it will run until it will complete or until an exception occurs. When a thread is interrupted, it throws java.lang.interrupted exception. To demonstrate it we will use the code, that we did in a previous video. We will make one little change to the custom thread. Instead of outputting an error, in the catch block, we will print the thread interrupted message. In the main class, we will create custom thread class. Afterwards we will call the interrupt method, and we will print end main thread. The secondary thread will loop once per second and try to output the string five times, but it'll be interrupted by the main class and here's the result. I'll run the application, I see one output from the main thread, stating that it's finished. Then output from secondary thread. Then the message thread interrupted printed from the secondary thread, and the second thread is finishing printing. The interesting thing is that the main class finishes its execution even after it calls the interrupt method and the thread only throws its exception after that. So that's how you explicitly interrupt a thread that's already being executed, and again, if you don't do that, it'll typically carry on to completion unless another exception is thrown.